Hello everybody, welcome to Translate Learning Mathematics videos. Today I will be discussing about practice problems related to solving compound inequalities. So let's see what all questions will be covering in this video. The first question, find the range of values for which this inequality is satisfied. So this is the compound inequality in which 2x is a middle term. So what we're going to do here, we will split this inequality into two parts. The first part will consist of the middle term and the left hand side value. And the second part will consist of the middle value and the right hand side value. So the first part is 4 is less than 2x. And their second part is 2x is less than or equal to 8. So in order to get the value of x from this first part, we need to divide it by 2. So I'm dividing the both sides by 2 and I will get the value of x. So this will be 2 less than x. Now from the second part, so in order to get the value of x here also, I need to divide it by 2. So this is 2x divided by 2 less than equal to 8 divided by 2. So we will get the value of x less than equal to 4. So on combining these two here, we have x as a common term. This is greater than 2 and this is less than equal to 4. So this is the required range of values for which this inequality is satisfied. So if we write the values here, x is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 4. So this will be 3 and 4. The next question. Find the range of values for which this inequality is satisfied. That is 3 less than or equal to 2x plus 5 is less than 7. So here 2x plus 5 is a middle term or a common term. So we will be splitting this compound inequality into two parts. The first part consists of this middle value and the left hand side value and the second part will consist of this middle value and the right hand side value. So this is 3 less than or equal to 2x plus 5 and the second value is 2x plus 5 is less than 7. So in order to get the value of x, first of all, we need to eliminate this plus 5 from this side. In order to do this, I will be subtracting minus 5 from both the sides. So this is 3 minus 5 less than or equal to 2x plus 5 minus 5. So this will get cancelled and here we are left with minus 2 less than or equal to 2x. To get the value of x, now we need to divide both the sides by 2. So on dividing both the sides by 2, here we have minus 1 less than or equal to x. So this is the value of x from this first part. Now from the second part. So again, I will be subtracting 5 from both the sides. So this is 2x plus 5 minus 5 less than 7 minus 5. So this will get cancelled and this is 2x less than 2. Now I will be dividing both the sides by 2. On dividing we will get the value as x is less than 1. So now if we combine these two parts, so this is x which is greater than or equal to minus 1 and x is less than 1. So this is the required range of values for which this inequality is satisfied. So if we write the values, it will be minus 1 and 0 because this is less than 1. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.